Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Richard. I'm in my, uh, what on God almighty, what am I in? Uh, it is the Dacia Spring Extreme 65. Wonderful car. It's a wonderful car. And today we're going to be talking about charging the battery up to 80% and not less than 20% and all that kind of crap. Come and join me and come and listen to my thoughts. Okay, let's go for a drive. Oh, don't charge more than 80%. Don't run it below 20%. Oh my goodness, what are we talking about? We're meant to be in the 21st century. It was decades ago that we landed on the moon and we still can't charge a battery to 100%. Really? I'm going to give you my thoughts. I am going to oh, shoot me down. You feel free to shoot me down. I oh, pussy cat. I am going to give you my thoughts. <clears throat> Here we go. I buy a car. The salesman tells me it's got a range of 130 miles, which is the range of this extreme 65. I then go into the real world and then I'm told, oh, you shouldn't charge the uh, battery more than 80%. And then someone says, oh, if you charge the battery up to 100%, you must use it straight away. And then someone says, just charge the battery to 100% and use it. It's under warranty. Stop playing around. There's so much confusion. So much confusion. So, here are my thoughts. I buy a car, my expectation is it has 130 miles range. I'm then told I can't charge it more than 80%. So that means 20% has to be taken off. Oh my goodness, that's a big puddle. Oh. Here we go. Let's go through a big puddle. Hopefully. So go really, really slow. It's not that deep. Go really, really slow so it doesn't splash up into the car. Just go really, really slow. There we go. That's fine. That's how you go through puddles. The beautiful country lanes of Shropshire. Anyway, back to the subject. So 20%, I can't, I can't charge it more than 80%. Okay, so that means I've lost 20% range. So that means it's not 130, and 10% of 130 is 13. So two times 13 is 20%, which is the miles that I lose at the top end. Okay, so 26 off 130 is, I have a range of 104 miles, yeah? Here we are. Watch out, there's a big puddle down there. Thank you. See you soon. That was nice. We're all lovely in the countryside. Where was I? So, 20%, 26 miles. I can't, I'm going to have to take that off the 130. So that leaves me 104 miles range. Yeah, let's take a right up here. 104 miles range. But then, I can't use the last 20%. So, the last 20%, 0 to 20%. So, that's another 26 miles off now the 104. Any good at calculations? I, re I worked that out at 78 miles, and that's in my head. So now I've gone and bought a car with an expectation of 130 miles, but now I'm being told, based on calculations, that I can't do this at the top end of 80%, I can't do this at 20%, and now I've got a range of 70 odd miles. How would you feel 
if I sold you a car, let's go to petrol cars now. If I sold you a car, brand new car, and I said 50 miles per gallon, and then I was, then you was told after you'd bought it, oh by the way, you can't do this and you can't do that, and da 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 da, and in the be all and end all, instead of getting 50 miles per gallon, let's take 40% off that. What's 10% to 50? Five. Times four, 20. 20 off 50, 30. 30 miles per gallon. I'm not giving a maths lesson here, yeah? So you buy the car, you know it's going to do 50 miles a gal uh, per gallon, and then now you're driving it and you're being said, sorry, you can only get 30 miles per gallon out of it. It's the same analogy. How would you feel? You'd think, hang about, no, I bought it on this. Us understanding. And now you're telling me this. So there's the baseline, yeah? I've now got a range, a realistic range of 70 odd miles. Okay. What am I going to do? I don't give a shit. I bought this car on the understanding that it had a range of 130 miles and I will charge it to 100% because the battery's under warranty for seven years and I am assuming there is no clause in the tiny, tiny print that says you must never charge it more than 70% or, sorry, 80%. I am assuming that is true. These roads are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. What do you think? I know I'm sounding a bit angry about this, but we seem to be in a strange, strange world where we get something, we have an understanding, and then it's completely different. Yeah? I bought a car for 50 miles per gallon of petrol, gas, but now it only does 30 miles per gallon. It can do 50 miles per gallon, but I've got to do it, I've got to make the car do 30 miles per gallon. That's what you're asking me to do. At the top end of the 20%, 80% to 100%, and the bottom end, 20% down to 0%. You're asking me to do that. Why are we living in this world? In the 21st century, 2025, we're now considering sending humans to Mars. But we're now struggling to get humans on the moon. Yeah, let's be true, yeah? We believe we've got artificial intelligence that will take over our jobs. If artificial, I'm just putting a perspective on this. If artificial intelligence was that good and that my data is relatively open on the internet and the systems know I've got two boys, two sons, why do I still receive adverts for women's sanitary goods? Yeah? Why do I receive adverts in YouTube and on the television for women's makeup? I have no idea, yeah? I'm just putting a crazy perspective on where we are, where we are right now in the world. Have you ever considered that? I'm gonna create a video on artificial intelligence because I work in the IT world, you know that. And ChatGPT will not take over the world, I guarantee it. And these things that you see with Chinese looking robots, yeah, or, or Asian looking robots, yeah, walking around and things like that on YouTube. It ain't like that. It's nothing like that, yeah. It's absolutely bizarre, yeah. And now I'm being told I shouldn't charge this battery up. So let's just look at it another way. I work in IT. 
we, we have something called uh, capacity management. Let's go around this lane. We have something called capacity management. So, this vehicle has a 27 kilowatt uh, battery. If I knew that it was, you couldn't use the 80%, 80 to 100% charge, or the 20 to 0% charge, here we go. I would increase the volume of the battery by 40%. So 27 plus 40% is da -da 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 -da, something like uh, 27. It's something like 33. No, it isn't something like 33. 10% of 22 pounds is 10, right. So it will be about an extra 10 kilowatts. So instead of putting a 27 kilowatt battery in this car, I would put a 37 kilowatt battery in this car, but only make 27 kilowatts usable. So that gets rid of, oh, this is a tight corner. Anybody coming? Oh, it's a private road. Oops, I've come up a private road. Sorry, sorry. This is a private road. Here we go. Sorry, came the wrong way. <laughs> sorry, I, I came the wrong way. Oh, that's all right. Have a lovely day. Feel free to turn around. Thank you. Have a great day. Cheerio. <laughs> we go there we are I obviously came up a private road wow not to worry I didn't realize there's many many private roads around here and they're often not signposted wow it's beautiful out here there we go and um, so what we were saying so yes I would increase the battery to counter to, to offset the 40% the top 80% to 100 and the bottom 20 down to zero and allow the user, the end user, myself. The facade that I had, zero to 100% on a battery and I can charge to 100%, yeah? And I can go down to 0% confidently, know, knowing that my battery has an upper and lower boundary of its own self-management. That's what I would do. If I was designing the battery for this particular car, I don't know if it's already caters for that. Do you charge to 100% and think, stuff this, I'm just charging? Or do you care about the battery based on the assumption that we now have to charge to 80%? I don't, you tell me. It seems a bit bizarre. Yeah, it's all, all private up here. It just seems a bit bizarre. You tell me your thoughts. In the reality of the world, I cannot afford a vehicle that does a range of 78 miles. And when I bought the vehicle, or purchased it through via the PCP agreement, remember the bank owns the vehicle, not me. The bank owns, if you've got a PCP car, the bank owns the vehicle. Just a thought then, just a thought. Uh, so if I'd have known that I could only use it for 78 miles, yeah? the distance between 20% and 80%. I wouldn't have bought this car. I'd have got another car that allowed the range to be whatever it, I needed operationally for this vehicle. You tell me your thoughts. Have you come across this situation where you just didn't, you, you thought you'd get a range but you didn't get the range which you was hoping for? You tell me. Hope you enjoyed this thought-provoking video. Am I thinking wrong? You tell me. 
I'm happy to be shot down. I am more than happy to be shot down and said, you shouldn't do it any more than 80%. Because I know there's going to be keyboard warriors out there. They are going to go wild. I'm in the wrong road again, I think. You tell me. I'm going to stop here. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Please give the video a like if you thought it was of any use. And uh, do comment. I'll see you very soon. Drive safely, ride safely, eat healthily, and be kind to everyone. See you soon. Bye-bye.